friends, welcome to ANSYS Artistry. Thank you for joining me here today. One of my viewers asked me to show them how I mix my paint. So here I am with a kitchen scale and I'm going to show you how I thin down my paints. For all my Dutch pour paintings, I mentioned that I use one part paint, two parts Floetrol and a little bit of water. What does that actually mean? I'll show you how it goes. So I have this new paint, um, Turquoise Blue by Amsterdam. I'm going to use this. And then I have Floetrol and then a squeeze bottle and a little bit of tap water. So I'll show you how I mix it. All right. So I made sure that with the squeeze bottle, the value that it measures right now is zero. I'm going to add Floetrol into it. I'm actually measuring it in grams. I'm actually going to add 40 grams. I'm looking at this upside down. Okay, there we have 40 grams of Floetrol. Hmm. It says 41, but there we go, around that. So that says 41, approximately 40 grams of Floetrol. Zeroing it back down. And then I'm going to add 20 grams of this paint. There we go, 20, and then zero it down. I'm going to add 15 grams of water into this one. 15 grams of water, here we go. All right. Close it down and there we have it. This mixture is ready for Dutch pours. So now that I've shown you how to mix my paints, I will show you how I do the drip test. This is newly mixed paint, so I want to make sure that all of the paints that I have mixed have similar consistency. So I'm going to drop one or two drops on this um, cardboard here. All right, I'm going to lift it up and see if they flow similarly.
okay so now you see that the newly mixed paint is a little bit thinner than the other ones I would call all of the other ones having similar consistency except for this one that I just mixed it has more um, thinning agent in it so it's a little bit thinner okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more water into all of these and try and and actually repeat this test to show you how it works okay or the other way I could add a little bit more paint into this and make this one a little bit thicker actually I'm going to do that one right now so just add a bit more paint into this if you want to see how much I'm adding let's go ahead and measure that Okay, I added six grams of paint into it. Let's mix it again. Okay, let's do it again. I think I added a little bit more of the black, but that's all right, let's go. All right, see that? Now it's kind of similar, right? The consistency is more comparable to each other. So I'm gonna use these paints in my Dutch board. So, all right. Here I have a canvas size 12 by 24 inches and I'm going to put down the Artist Loft soft body acrylic black paint. That's going to be my base and then I'm going to um, layer these paints on top of it and let's do a touch board, okay? I'm going to put down the base paint and I will bring you right back. All right, I have the black paint or the black base paint down gonna pop all these air bubbles all right on to layering the paints now okay I'm gonna make my design with this turquoise that I just mixed One more layer of it. Okay, then I have metallic cobalt blue by Artist Loft. Okay. going to add a little bit of zinc white in here then I have dioxazine purple and then I have metallic purple by Artist Lop. And then a little bit of the zinc white again on top. Okay, let's add a little bit of the black on the side.
Again, let's pop these air bubbles. All right, now let's blow this out. I think I need a little bit more, but oh my God, this color combination is just superb. I'm gonna add a little bit more here and I'm hoping I'll be able to recover this. This is just superb. I'm gonna still blow it out here a little bit more. What color do I need? I think I need a little bit more of the purple. I love this. I really love this color combination. I don't think I need to fix anything. All right, I'll bring you down for a close-up now. So here is the close-up. This was really a quick one, but just look at this color combination. Just superb. Look at the blowout too. It turned out really good. And it was very quick, I felt. The blowing out the fixing everything was pretty quick I love how this one turned out there we go now we have the entire canvas in the frame beautiful right I love this combination and I also told you that I have a surprise right in the starting of this video let's focus on the table and I'll show you what is the surprise okay be right back here we are for the surprise. So what I want to try is use the same paint that I used for this Dutch pour. I'm going to pour them in these little cups. I'm going to thin it down a little bit more and use that to do another Dutch pour and see how the thinning of the paints affect the painting itself. Okay, so let's go. So that's 20 grams of this thin down paint and I'm going to add maybe 5 grams of water into it. Now 
we are going to mix this and then use this, all these paints into our new painting. So let me set it up and I will be right back. All right, I have a round canvas here. I think these are 10 inch canvas if I'm right. Uh, before we start today's second painting, let's do a drip test, okay? You see, the turquoise is a little bit thinner. Maybe this one is a little bit thicker, but way thinner than the first one. I hope you're able to see it. Okay, let me pick it up. So this is the first set of paints. This is the second set of paint. See how the second set is way thinner? And yes, obviously we added a little bit more water into it, so it's going to be thinner. But the test today is to see if this thinner paint uh, is going to work for a Dutch pot. So that's what we are trying to see now. So I have the canvas here set. Let's put down this black paint. All right, I see that since these paints are thinner, I can see um, the wood on the sides, but that's all right. We're gonna make sure it's covered once it's all dry, okay? So let's pop these air bubbles. All right, let's see. So I'm going to make a uh, a flower using the hair dryer. So around here is the center. All right, so the paints are the same paints that I used for the other Dutch pour. Oops, the center has shifted a little bit, so kind of this is the center. Okay, all right, let's blow it out and see if this one works.
okay I think the canvas was too small for it but let's see if this can be saved okay All right, I think I want to blow this out a little bit out. See, that looks pretty too. So I thinned down the paints and it still worked fine for a Dutch pour. So here's my concept. It really doesn't matter if you add 20 grams of water, 25 grams of water or 30 grams of water. For me, my preference is to have all the paints similar consistency. That works for me. So you saw in the first painting, it was similar consistency, but all the paints were a little bit thicker. It still worked. In the second painting, I thinned down those paints again one more time by adding a little bit more water and it still worked, right? So for me, more important is to have all of these paints uh, similar at similar consistency, okay? So don't fret that, you know, it's too thin or too thick or whatever works for you is what you have to work with, okay? I've seen so many artists say, uh, my base is a little bit thinner, my base is a little bit thicker, but you still uh, see that they end up make, making beautiful um, paintings. So they just make it work. So it's just what is comfortable for you. If it's a little bit thick and you don't like it, thin it down. If it's a little bit overly thinned down, just add a little bit more paint and it will thicken up a little bit. And maybe that's the consistency you really want to make it work. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you. If the amount of water, if that measurement really matters or not. For me, I think it doesn't. You don't, it doesn't have to be exactly you know, 20 grams of water to 40 grams of paint to 80 grams of float rod. Doesn't have to be that exact. A little bit over here and there is still fine. Like I said, for me, I need to do a consistency check to see if all of them drip similarly. That's what I'm looking for. So here are the two paintings. I'm gonna bring you down just to show you how this one looks. So here is the second painting on a wood round. Beautiful. Look at those lacings produced by zinc white. I guess thinner the paint, the more chances of it producing those cells. It looks beautiful, I give you that. I love this color combination, 100%. So that's the flower on the wood round and beside it we have this regular Dutch pour. Yep, there we have it, both of them. If you did like this video, 
do hit that thumbs up button and please consider supporting my art channel by subscribing. That's it for today and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye. Happy pouring.